here has been my journey with NoFap, and now I'm currently on semen retention. Now, what exactly is the difference between NoFap and semen retention? So I started my journey, ooh, maybe four years ago, and that took me on a journey of celibacy slash NoFap, which meant for me, there was no pornography, there was no masturbation, and there was no sex. And I did that for about a year, and I had my my falls here and there. Um, and I think my longest streak, if you go back to my YouTube channel, was around 97 days. Yeah, 97 days without any type of sexual stimulation, which was very eye-opening for me. And now currently, I am on semen retention, which means I allow myself to have sex. I allow myself to masturbate, staying away from porn. Um, and with this... I am learning how to transmute my sexual energy so I can still have sex and still have orgasms. Same with self-pleasuring. I can still feel this sexual pleasure and still orgasm, but I'm learning how to harness and not ejaculate, which means I get to keep my sexual essence. So I'm currently in a relationship. We've been together for about a year. So that means, yes, we are having sex. And with that, means that I, with semen retention, I may mess up. <laughs> I think there's a stigma around NoFap and uh, the semen retention community. They like, oh my gosh, you ejaculated and all your, all that hard work is gonna go down the drain. And in this part of my journey, it's, yes, I ejaculate. Sometimes when I'm having sex, sometimes I get to the point of no return and I do ejaculate. And that's totally okay because I'm still learning how to move this sexual energy in my body. It's okay for me to make mistakes. And I think that's a beautiful message for anyone that is coming onto this platform of, you know, wanting to become a, wanting to become a better man. And I know for me at the beginning of my NoFap journey, anytime that I messed up or I, I relapsed back into pornography, I shamed the shit out of myself and put myself in these really dark holes of like, oh my gosh, like just beating myself up. And I'm just, I'm just at a point in my life where if I ejaculate, it's totally okay. And I'm still learning. And I actually have a rule for myself of the longest I want to go um, is about a week. So I'll, I'll be, I'll have sex with my partner maybe a couple times out of the week. And if I hold, I can consciously make the decision to, hey, I want to ejaculate with my partner and I want her to, to have an orgasm with me and it's a very beautiful experience. And here's the beautiful thing about the difference between nofap and semen retention and the way that I'm doing it. When I'm doing semen retention, we have these energy channels that go up and around our the back and go down go, goes down the front. And we call this the microcosmic orbit. This is something called sexual kung fu. And when I'm having sex with my partner, I can circulate this energy around and into my body and I, I, I can actually have really intense orgasms with my partner and it's interesting it, it really juices up the body and it really gives me energy like it really supercharges my battery so it's interesting when I don't ejaculate and I charge up my system I have this extra energy to go and work out have extra energy to put a little bit more hours at work a little bit extra energy to to make these videos so i think this is a very beautiful way for those who are on the journey of you know mastering their sexual energy of hey i still want to have sex i still want to have sex with beautiful women i still want to have sex with with whatever whatever i'm attracted to and still harness and not let go of my sexual energy all the time and if you are interested in this this all you have to do is look up sexual kung fu there's a guy on youtube named jonathan white and another guy i learned from his name is taylor johnson i highly recommend them i put their youtube channels down below and they have courses and and coaching sessions and stuff like that i know i also get a lot of questions around should i start with semen intention or should i start with nofap and from, from my own personal opinion, if there's a lot of struggle with pornography, there's a lot of struggle with always releasing all the time, I think NoFap is the way to go. 
is to really train the brain to let go of this drug, let go of this habit. And I think once you can start to master NoFap and start to see how it's truly a superpower in a man's life, then I would start to say, hey, maybe you want to start incorporating some semen retention and, and start having some sexual experiences with yourself and with other people. So what is the end goal for me personally? For me, I really want to master my sexual energy. So that means I I think the longest I'm go gone with having sex and with my partner and not ejaculating might have been like three, three weeks to a month. And that felt really nice. <laughs> it felt really nice. I felt very grounded. I felt very confident. I felt very masculine. I felt very driven. I had a lot of willpower. And overall, I just felt like a way better man. And it's definitely a challenge because the more I hold, the more sexual charge I have. And when, I, when I'm in these spaces with my woman and it gets wild and hot and steamy, it can be a challenge to really consciously move that energy. So I'm still practicing being in those states with my woman. And I think for me, the end goal is to find out yeah, I think I want to be able to hold consciously for a month and release maybe like once a month. And if I could even hold it even longer, even even better. I'm trying to figure out what's a good threshold for me personally to um, hold my, my, my semen. And there's a lot of spiritual stuff out there talking about celib celibacy and the power of that. And I'm not really sure if I want to go down that route of never ejaculating besides for the besides for procreation. I'm not even sure if that's it's healthy or if that's a thing. Um, and if it is, if if that is actually a thing, like the more I hold and the more I can transmute this this energy up my chakras and into into higher states of being, then that is definitely the end goal. So hopefully, my my story has brought some light has um yeah some some type of value to to anyone who's who's looking at this and if you go back to my youtube channel and look at some of the videos that i made over two or three years ago you can definitely see a difference <laughs> from the journey of uh, my videos compared to now just a little bit more grounded now a little bit more masculine a little deeper voice more present just Yes, I'm feeling uh, just it's it's been a long journey and, I, and I'm very proud of where I'm at in this journey. So for all you guys out there that are struggling and want to become better men, I salute you and find a group, find videos like this and it, it'll keep you going, brother. So you guys stay strong out there and y'all have a blessed day.